Tomara que a Júlia seja muito feliz com a escolha dela. Hello guys, it's Shinkin Plays, I'm Fabio Pisco and welcome to my channel. So today's video is about how you should not buy a monitor with a VA panel. Why? Well, right after the sponsor of today's video. For today's sponsor we have GVG Mall, where you can acquire your Windows 10 Home serial key for only $16 and using my SKEG discount code will get you 20% off, making it only $11. After the payment, you'll receive the key in your account and after getting it, you simply need to introduce it in your Windows settings and BAM! You have an activated system. Why you shouldn't buy a VA panel? There are, in my opinion, three reasons. The first one is the colors. They aren't as accurate as an IPS panel, that's for sure, but that's not the main reason. So if you're getting, for example, a 35 inches ultra-wide monitor like this one or 34 inches ultra-wide, uh, VA panel, you'll have a way bigger space, and the viewing angles of the um, the viewing angles of the VA panels aren't as good as the IPS ones. So what will happen is when you actually are in the middle of the screen, uh, looking at the tips of the monitor, the right tip or the right edge, the left edge, what will happen is that the colors that you'll see on the edges will be washed out. So the colors won't have the full contrast like they should have or they have in the middle. So only if you move your head to the other side, then you can see the contrast. But once you put your head once again in the middle of the screen, where it should be in the middle of the monitor, if you just rotate your head and watch the edge, the colors will look washed out. Okay, so that's a problem that happens with the VA monitors that have a really, a really big length like this one of 35 inches, okay? And if you have one, for example, 40, 49 inches or 38 inches and still VA, I assume it, it will be even worse. So yeah, that's the first reason. The second reason also has to do with the viewing angles. So since the viewing angles are not as good as the IPS one, the brightness distribution per se will also be different because you'll have color shifting on the sides, like I said before, so washed out colors, you'll have slight, a slight color shifting uh, you, and you'll have also a brightness shifting. So if you're looking uh, in the middle of the monitor, the brightness will be very, very good. But if you start looking at the sides of the monitors, the brightness will seem to be different. And that is due to the viewing angles not being as good as the IPS one. So if you have a VA panel or a VA monitor, let's say 27 inches, 16 per nine, you are mostly okay because the length of the monitor is different, is way shorter. But if you have an ultra wide one, this is an issue because with such a big length, uh, you'll have the brightness, the brightness shifting. So in the middle, it will be one brightness. If you start looking at the sides, the brightness will be different and different and different and different. So at least for me, it annoys me a bit having that brightness shifting, okay? You won't notice much uh, in lighter colors, but if once you go to darker scenarios, uh, you'll actually notice the brightness shifting. And those darker scenarios take us to the third reason why you shouldn't get a VA panel. The third reason is black smearing. If you don't know what black smearing is, black smearing is kind of a ghosting as we had in older monitors. It's kind of a ghosting, but only uh, shifting from like darker colors to lighter colors. And this is due to the pixel response being too slow, shifting from darker colors to lighter colors. And this is a problem presented in all VA panels, not only just this one, all VA panels. And that is due to the pixel response being too slow, going from darker colors to lighter colors or vice versa. Okay, so the pixel response will be too slow in those darker colors and will cause ghosting. But we don't call it ghosting, we call it black smearing because ghosting is when that happens in all of the colors, in all the specter, okay? Uh, and for VA panels, the lighter colors are completely fine in most cases if the overdrive settings of the monitor are okay, but they will be really, really bad in the dark scenarios. It's just a given. If you go for a VA panel, you'll have black smearing. You can watch these examples where you can clearly see the black smearing, for example, on this net on the, on the left, that it gets blurry as I move my camera in PUBG. Okay, so this is black smearing, it won't happen with an IPS panel, okay? Or this even harder scenario of, of black smearing on Hellblade, when you have a white symbol in the middle of the screen 
and you are actually moving the camera in darker scenes. So the black smearing is apparent, the symbol gets blurry and that is due to the black smearing, it wouldn't happen in an IPS panel. So yeah, basically, if you're looking for a monitor to upgrade to uh, and it has a VA panel, there are only, there are only a few monitors uh, worldwide that do not have the black smearing, okay? They do not have the black smearing due to very, very good overdrive settings and good VA panels, like for example the Samsung Odyssey G7 monitors, which are 16 per 9 and not 21 per 9 are one of the few that have almost no black smearing due, once again, to very good overdrive settings, okay? So, all, almost all, if not all, the other VA monitors or all the other VA panels will have black smearing and that takes away the point of having a panel with higher refresh rate. So why would I want 100Hz like here uh, if I actually have motion blur aka black smearing in the fast paced scene? So I want a higher refresh rate monitor so I can clearly see the fast paced scenes. But how could I see the, the, the fast paced scenes if it has black smearing? You see what, I, what I'm going to? So it's it's, it's like a counter of what you want. You get high refresh rate, but at the same time you get black smearing, so it, ma it makes no sense upgrading because of that, at least to a VA panel. So if you want the best gaming experience, get a higher end IPS panel, okay? Now, VA panels are not just bad things, they also have good things, like for example, the, const the contrast ratio. While a good IPS panel may reach like 1200 to one contrast ratio, we have on the, the VA panels, we have like 2500 and above, it can reach like 500 to one contrast ratio, which is incredibly higher than any IPS. For example, when I watch anime, I watch anime and it is 16 per nine, so I have black bars on both sides, both the left side and right side. Those black bars, I can easily notice that the color is not like really, really black in my main IPS monitor and it is a really top-notch IPS monitor and I can notice they are like dark dark blue and not and not black due to the low contrast ratio while using my VA panel those black parts on the side those black bars are actually black and they are cheaper to do with the same Hertz so uh, for example for the same value you can get 100 Hertz here of if you want an IPS panel, sorry, it will be like 75 Hz or maybe 60 Hz for the same value. So, so yeah, VA panels are cheap, but they have black smearing, they have uh, brightness shifting, they have poor viewing angles, and due to that, they have also uh, washed out colors in the in the sides. So, I personally bang, wouldn't take it. And that's why I'm returning this VA monitor and I will keep my main IPS one and the previous IPS one that I, that I have will be here, okay? So that's all for today's video. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe and share this video. Hope this video helped you in some way. Um, I know it's, it's hard to, to trust a stranger on the internet, of course, but believe me, uh, even the color distribution is way, way better with, uh, with an IPS panel and over, for overall usage, the IPS panel is the way to go, okay? If you want something cheaper with higher refresh rate, well, maybe VA. But apart from that, IPS is the way to go. Thanks a lot and see you in the next video.